To make potent compounds is actually very simple. To make compounds with balanced properties and the right disposition to have the exposure needed to hit the right tissue and to do so in a dose responsive way is very, very challenging. The opportunity presented itself in 2006 to try to bring everything I learned in the pharmaceutical industry where I worked at Eli Lilly and Merck Pharmaceuticals for about a decade and built an academic drug discovery group. And we've been very successful with that. We've had 20 collaborations with big pharmaceutical partners. We have two compounds in clinical trials. We're hoping people that take the certificate program initially get exposed to information they didn't know previously and then just have that appreciation for all that goes into making a clinical candidate ultimately a drug. People will learn a very holistic overview of drug discovery, learn a lot of the intricacies of drug metabolism and pharmacokinetics, medicinal chemistry strategies for very challenging targets, and then see how all of those elements come together in successful campaigns that led to drug discovery projects that moved into the clinic or the market. What we'd love to do with the workshop is have everyone do a little bit of chemistry and see what, how, what it takes to, to run a reaction, purify a molecule, characterize it. You're going to get to walk through each major domain of drug discovery and have it hands-on. It's going to really resonate with you a lot more when you've physically done some of the work yourself. To really be successful in drug discovery, you have to be very open-minded, and you can't just be a chemist or a biologist. You have to really understand the assays, you have great rapport with your drug metabolism scientists. You have to constantly have interaction and refinement because no one discipline can drive a compound into the clinic. It requires five legs of the stool, and the best drug discovery scientists are well-versed in all the disciplines.